And a voice synonymous with Philadelphia sports. Phillies announcer Dan Baker is uh, celebrating 50 years in the business. And he sat down with our own Wakisha Bailey to talk about his legendary career with the Fightins. And also he looks ahead to the teams bringing the series back home next week. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the starting lineups for this afternoon's 2022 National League Championship Series game number five. Sunday was a pretty exciting day. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you figure we clinched the pennant. The most recognizable voice in the history of Phillies baseball belongs to public address announcer Dan Baker. For the Phillies! Leading off, number 12, left fielder Kyle Schwarber. I started as a Phillies PA announcer in 1972. 50 years. Yeah, actually it's been 51, but I missed one year. Uh, the uh, pandemic shortened year of uh, 2020 when I had a uh, five and a half centimeter squamous cell carcinoma removed from my cheek. I can't quite enunciate as well as I did before the surgery, but I can get pretty darn close. Waukesha, this is where I first started announcing Phillies games. It was Veterans Stadium in 1972, just one year after it opened. Do you remember the first name you had to announce? I do. Hall of Famer Lou Brock of the St. Louis Cardinals. Mr. Baker's story begins inside the Philadelphia School District, where he was a fifth and sixth grade teacher, and one of his students was radio host Patty Jackson. He also coached a boys basketball team for 10 years. One of the greatest basketball players to ever come out of Philadelphia in the middle. At that time he played for the New York Knicks, the great Earl the Pearl Monroe. But his calling was to work in sports full time and that he did. I've actually had the privilege, if only briefly, to announce for all four of Philadelphia's major professional sports teams. To include 29 years with the Eagles and 50 years with the Phillies. He's also met a few celebrities along the way. Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers. This was right after the first Rocky came out. Pete Rose, most of his career uh, was played as a member of the Cincinnati Reds. He was part of one of the big red machine there. I still have my leisure suit on. <laughs> as we went through endless photos, it was the small hallway that led to the field that was filled with these black and white murals that made us stop for a moment and reflect on Philly's 140 years of history. Back then, they didn't have public address systems over which you heard the PA announcer. The PA announcer used a megaphone <laughs> and, and he, he called out the names from behind home plate. Mr. Baker, one of the few announcers who also takes his place on the field before each game to make that connection with fans. Phillies designated hitter, Bryce Harper. Do you think um, you're going to retire anytime soon? The great Bob Shepard was 97 years old when he retired. So I'm still a kid at 76. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now, I can still announce with the best of them. And we'll be listening as we cheer on the fight in Phil's. Well, Keisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. What a legend Dan yes. Baker is. He's a legend and what a walk through history there with the Keisha. That was so cool to watch. Great stuff looking at all those old photos yeah. as well. And how he's been such a part of the sports history yes. here in the city for so many years.